Hello everybody, my name is Evan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a floating navigation bar. The first thing when you create a new site is add in the style tags. Then, inside the body, go ahead and add a div id navigation bar. You can call this whatever you want, just keep that in mind when you're adding in the rest. Everything inside this div will be a part of the scoring navigation. That's all of your text, your logos, anything you want to scroll down will go inside of this and will follow with it. So just keep that in mind. Inside of there, I went ahead and I added in another div. I called this div nav, or div class nav. You can change it, like I said before, anything you want, just remember what you called it. Then what I did is I opened up CSS put in dot blank for me I put in dot nav or whatever you called it into there then add width 1800 by 80 1880 pixels for the width height I put in 70 pixels I added, I added an emergin auto so it doesn't move around I added in depending on screen size I added in a position absolute left zero pixels top zero pixels and then the background color and then I went ahead and I closed the curly bracket as you can see when you open this in Chrome it doesn't do anything it doesn't do anything special yet but we're gonna we're gonna fix this uh, as you can see I added in a background that's just so you can see the changes between when I scroll down and it it's easier to distinguish um, but just don't that doesn't have anything to do with the video I just put that in there there may have been a mistake when I made this when I first typed it um, that's pretty much in HTML and encoding you make mistakes you just have to fix it um, if you want to see the fixed version wait until the end of the video or I put it in the description if you just want to copy and paste it. But then you want to go into um, you want to go into your style tag that I told you to make in the beginning, and you want to add in pound sign or hashtag depending not depending on anything, just depending on what you want to call it, and then add in navbar. This will change if you change div in the beginning of the video, like I said. Curly brackets, position, fixed. Top zero pixels, left zero pixels, Z index nine 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 with a hundred percent, and then and the curly brackets and don't forget the semicolons and all that. You can see that clearly in the video. I'm assuming. And now you should have a floating navigation boy, but if you created this from scratch like I did, you shouldn't see anything. Nothing that I, you could just scroll down, and when you scroll down, you should be able to see that your navigation bar actually follows your page. I think this is super useful in creating a website, and I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope I made this clear and, and easy to, to understand. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like. Um, if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give me a dislike and tell me why you didn't like my video in the description. And um, tell me what I did wrong and what I should do in the future. But as for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.